And now we reach the end of the presentations. Uh, it's been a wonderful day uh, with all of you show showcasing your talent and put putting forward your effort. Uh, thank you again, once again, all the mentors, uh, coordinating members, dignitaries, and especially interns for participating in su such an event. But before we call the curtains, I would like to call the man because of whom we are present right here at this moment. Work hard, make wise choices, and never look back, he said on the very first day, and that's what most of us have followed and reached till this point. So I invite Dr. D.B. Fatak to the stage to deliver his thoughts. On all our behalf, I would also like uh, to request Professor Sudarshan to join me because he is, in fact, the uh, leader of the ESOS project under which we have arranged all of this. So, Professor Sudarshan. Good evening. Am I audible? First of all, my compliments. This is the first time in 10 years that I notice that the final presentations are over within 15 minutes of the scheduled time. This has never happened in the past. So my compliments to all teams for sticking to the time schedule and so on. I am sure uh, you must have learned something useful here. All of you have done good work. That is what I understand. Unfortunately, I could not participate in much of the activities. I don't have many things to say now. You have been here. You have, I hope, enjoyed the campus as well. And the Mumbai rains. Uh, luckily, you are not stranded so far, I guess, because in the campus it is it is easier. When are you people leaving back for homes? Tomorrow, Tomorrow I see. So just in time. Great. Uh, I just wanted to share a few thoughts with you on what I expect all of you to do. As I said last time, it is amongst thousands of students and a grueling selection process that you were identified. You are well aware that there would be colleagues of yours who are equally good, but they didn't get a chance to come here. So this is a special privilege in some sense. You have all been doing well in your colleges and after finishing this internship, when you go back, you would obviously finish your graduation first and then different people would have different ideas. I hope Many of you give the gate exam and attempt to come back here for a regular two-year MTech. Some of you might even do PhD. Many will do a job and shine as technical leaders. Some of you will become managers. Point I'm making is that you must attempt to lead in whatever field you decide to work. Please understand that out of 3.66 crore Indians who study in higher education today and the nation proposes to double this number to 7 crores in 5 years because our gross enrollment ratio is only about 26% now. We want to make it 52% as early as possible. Chinese gross enrollment ratio is already 50%. Most of the western countries have an enrollment ratio of 80% plus which means that the population comprising a country should be as educated as possible. That is the objective. Now, as I was mentioning, out of 3.66 crores, only 40 lakh students study in technical institutions. And as you know, the Bhed Chal and the Maramari for marks ensures that only those students who do well in their higher secondary and competitive exams get to be admitted in engineering colleges. As an added attraction, all of you have been doing well in your colleges. That means you are already leaders of your path. The point is, in this digital century, technology contributions will make maximum sense because they will generate wealth non-linearly, not only for you and your families, but for the entire nation. And therefore, just doing a job that you get to do or just doing your higher studies just because your parents or you wish to get an MTech or PhD is good but not adequate. You have to do something special, something different. Now that is a point that I would like to leave with you. You have had some experience in working on a project in teams here. 
there is no doubt in my mind that almost all problems in this century will require teams to work on of course an individual innovation would be extremely useful but it is the teams which will solve larger problem you have got some glimpse of how to do team work i hope you will continue to use that when you do your final year projects which i believe are also team efforts try to ensure that there is no sleeping partner in the team make sure that every member does one's work because totality is what will contribute you have a long way to go thanks to the countrymen who have worked hard for last so many years the average life expectancy of india is now 71.6 years when we became independent it was just around 40 years so it has made a lot of difference all of you have a long life please use that life meaningfully for yourselves and meaningfully for the building of nation that is your responsibility because you are special not only you have done well but the society your parents the country has given you opportunities which not many people have got and i think that puts an extra responsibility on your heads so please fulfill that do well of course as i said i would like most of you to why for joining mtech in computer science here it's a bit tough i think the get scores required are close to 100 but whatever it is you should attempt uh, those of you who wish to do a, a further education i hope some of you at least try to become entrepreneurs i don't know whether you had an occasion to visit our site society for innovation and entrepreneurship but i am sure that in your colleges also there would be some uh, opportunities and avenues for entrepreneurship and maybe some of you would be interested don't overlook that as not suitable to you because you never know how much of entrepreneurship spirit you have unless you discover it so that is another angle that you might want to try out last but not the least keep in touch by passing through iit bombay for two months you have all become honorary alumni of their institute and of the department so don't forget that tag i hope our team will uh, keep in touch with you through email and so on and so forth i am sure all of you have worked very hard during this period i have unfortunately yet to read your reports but aruna will make sure that we'll have copies of those i hope you have paid enough attention to write good reports because articulating well what you have done is almost as important of the good work that you do one without the other these are not mutually exclusive so both are essential good work is essential but articulating that good work so that people can understand it and people can expand on it build on it is equally important so never forget that and in the remaining period that you have in your colleges make sure that your written and verbal articulation becomes absolutely top notch because that will decide you know you would have all heard of soft skills some of you might have courses in soft skills increasingly the researchers in the world are finding that in your career advancement whichever career you choose the technical competence often counts only for 15 to 20% a large count is for the soft skills that you have developed it includes personal interaction it includes group behavior it includes stopping at red light even if you are in a hurry that is something no indian does but i will tell you that all indians who go to countries where traffic discipline is harsh they automatically start behaving differently i don't know how many of you have had occasion to travel on mumbai locals well some of you so there is one local path which is noteworthy which is called the harbor line it goes from bombay vt to mankhurd and beyond to new mumbai now you will see the stations up to mankhurd they are often platforms are littered with dirt and so on and so forth but the same persons who travel beyond to any new mumbai station you will not find anybody throwing even a piece of paper on platform and that is because the platforms are spotlessly clean if an environment is created where most people follow good practices then a newcomer automatically tends to follow good practice 
try to create an environment in your own institution which follows good practices one of the good practices is when you are attending an event like this there should be no cross talk when i was attending the last session i could see some kusur kusur here kusur kusur there and so on so forth it is unbecoming of you to do so because you are actually insulting the person who is speaking the poor fellow he has prepared a presentation after a lot of efforts and would expect all of you to listen intently and i know that you have had a long day but if you can't work continuously and silently and learn what is going on for even 8 hours then how will you do so for 24 hours or 48 hours because that will be the demand of life on all of you so ensure that you try to use the best practices for yourselves and spread these in your institution as well as i said keep connected i would like to take this opportunity to thank my own colleagues here many of them were supposedly mentors all teams had some mentor or the other and all of you had good interaction with the mentors i hope you notice that all the mentors were actually project engineers or project scientists working on their projects with deliverables every moment of time that they have spent with you is actually an extra time that they spent because they are still required to deliver what is required to the project. so i am very grateful that the mentors did that uh, to aruna rajnikanth and who others in the team organizers rahul dilip abhinaya abhi yes these are the people who organized the entire logistics starting from web announcement to selection to uh, payment of your fees i think esos has uh, done that right their institute fees has been paid by iit there was a time when we had enough funding when we could even give you a a uh, out of pocket allowance but unfortunately we are no more rich in terms of funding i hope that all of you could afford to spend your money for your travel and stay here was that okay good if you are got to a a a in a commercial organization they would have probably paid you a handsome stipend monthly stipend but to compensate for that i would claim that what you would have learned here would decidedly be of a quality which you will not easily get elsewhere freedom to experiment freedom to learn freedom to do whatever you wish to do for that project and this attitude and this approach you should maintain in your subsequent time as well that's all i have to say and i am very happy that uh, professor sudarshan is with us how many of you have done a course in databases not many cha because many of you are second year students so you will be doing so how many of you have studied the kort silbershard sudarshan book ha ah, many of you well uh, he was one of the three authors but the latest edition if i am not mistaken has maximum contribution from him and i knew how busy he was because he refused persistently to participate in our mooks program where i have been requesting him to redo the course in databases for you and for all the teachers who teach databases and learn databases the good news is he has promised to redo that course jointly with another colleague and hopefully in this coming semester or at most in january we will be releasing that mooks and will be probably running it under blended mooks as well including a course for teachers training so thank you professor sudarshan and may i invite you to speak so thank you professor fatak for the introduction um my role in or what you guys have done here so far has been signing papers okay <laughs> so i've signed a lot of your reports um but you know i want to first say that um you know i'm signing reports because uh, it need somebody who is currently a professor here to do those things uh professor fatak uh, retired recently but you will not know that he is retired <laughs> he has been even more busy than when he was a regular professor here and this is something uh, you know which i want to link to what he said about life expectancy he is a person who is so much senior to me not just to you guys and he still you know with his energy for life the things that he wants to do 
the change that he wants to bring about, I think that should be an inspiration to all of you. It is to us, uh, other faculty here, uh, to our students, and it should be to all of you. So uh, you have a long life ahead, and it's a life worth living if you make a change to people around you, to your inner circle, to a larger circle, to your organization, to a, your uh, institution, if you're in an academic, to a company, wherever you are, or even more broadly, to your nation or uh, whoever else you're working for or towards helping. Okay, so I think you should keep this in mind. Your life is successful if you make a difference to others. That, of course, doesn't mean that you should give up everything and become a Baba and <laughs> go around preaching. I have some uh, former students who have done that and, you know, that's admirable, but that's not for everyone. Okay. So you, of course, also have to take care of yourselves and do interesting stuff. So uh, the first thing I want to say is that uh, in the course of this project, all of you have learned to use a lot of tools. What is it that differentiates, uh, you know, people who study animals and so on? So what is it that differentiates animals from humans? And one of the key differentiator is tools. Okay, of course, language is another. Um, uh, but one of the key things is that most animals use tools very sparingly. A crow may use, uh, you know, put stones in a jug of water uh, to bring it up apocryphally. And they do use other tools. But the key thing is that humans use tools. And you as programmers, I, I was going over uh, some of the project reports. And one thing which I notice, which is very different today from project reports of, say, 10 years back or whatever, is the number of tools that you people have used. And there are, of course, jokes about this, that the job of a programmer is today to copy paste the lines of code from Google code search and make something work, uh, which is not really true. But what is important to note is that the job of a programmer today, to a large part, is to understand what tools are there and how to use them to make a system which is useful to people. And you've got some of that experience here, but going forward, this is going to be very important. If you don't know what tools are there, you can't use them. Okay, So that is something which you have got some exposure here. Maybe some of you have had this exposure before, but I want you to go back and in your future projects, find out what tools are there, how to use them to do the job in the most intelligent way possible. Because you want to achieve something with minimal effort. That doesn't mean go download code, copy, and use it illegally. But it means whatever legal tools are there, open source, or even if it be commercial, you may license it in your work. But use the right tools and make things happen. Um, and then to use them intelligently. So again, to come back to Professor Fartek's example, he said you should stop at red lights. Okay? Yes, of course, that is important. But your goal is in the life of race is to get ahead of the others. And uh, Bill Gates, when he started Microsoft, he was just probably a little bit older than, he was probably as young as you guys when he started Microsoft. Uh, but a few years, just a few years later, he was, the company was doing well. And apparently he used to have these car races. Okay, so you're at a red light to a few, two cars. How do you get ahead of the competition? Anyone uh, have suggestions on how to beat your competitor? You're at a red light and you want to win the race somewhere ahead. Any suggestions? Use your intelligence. Yeah. Hmm? Start early. Start early. Hmm. How? So you're, okay, let me say. There's a red light. You're coming up to the red light. And now you want to be first going beyond. Just stay behind the uh, you're getting to the right point, but maybe you can ex express that a little better. Anyone wants to try it? This apparently is what Bill Gates used to do, by the way, to win the race. Any other? He almost got it. You can. Actually, the yeah. car who is ahead of the yeah. second one will cut the head, and he has to, the second one will have to do less effort. That, that's a good point, but that's not the relevant thing here. So, okay, uh, in order to not waste your time any further, so what apparently Bill Gates would do is not stop at the light, he'll stop a little bit behind. And when he knows the signal is going to change, he starts going forward. So he times it perfectly so that when the light turns green, 
he's zooming past and this other guy is at the signal and is just starting to accelerate okay so you have to use your intelligence within the rules i'm not asking, he didn't do anything illegal this was perfectly legal he presumably didn't beat the speed limits either that i don't know <laughs> we don't know he probably did but you know well let's pretend he didn't um so anyway uh, to come back uh, you know you should think on how to do stuff beat the competition that's very important in today's world uh, but ethically and uh, so keep this again in mind going into your future now i mentioned using tools okay when you're in industry this is very important using tools to build stuff uh, but that's not exactly what we as faculty here do uh, you have seen one part of iit you worked with uh, Uh, people who taught you how to use tools and build stuff that's definitely part of what computer science education is about and that is the part which is probably most important for industry but it, computer science a lot more you have done a lot of theory courses and you are aware that or you will be doing if you have not yet done it you are aware that there is more to computer science and this is not just theory in any area if you take operating systems databases or ai ml or any other area there are certain tools which you can use do stuff at a shallow level but you should also think about who built those tools how did they come up with the idea of building those tools how do you improve upon the tools how do you build new tools which can do more than what the current tools can do okay and this is the next level of depth and that is uh, what research is mostly about how to do stuff which has not been done already and a lot of what goes on at iit a lot of the time that we spend at iit as faculty which are masters and phd students and even our bachelor students to a significant extent later in probably in the fourth year do is research okay this is what in some sense differentiates iit from some of the other institutions where you know people may not get the time to do research there are excellent people in many other institutions but here we are privileged to be given the time in, in the sense of we don't have to teach so many courses the number of hours that i teach my, people may think is a scam you know they'll say i'm retired and <laughs> i'm doing nothing that's uh, some people may say that's the truth but it's not um, so what we do is research and try to figure out how to do things differently and there's been a lot of uh, research across we have about 40 people here now unfortunately I, i i don't think we had like a, a program which exposed you to the research that goes on here uh, but you can visit the home pages of our faculty members and get an idea of what happens uh, i'll just give you an, a couple of examples of the research that uh, i personally work on just to tell you what research is about okay uh, some of you have done a database course you have written sql queries and you know you are given a problem say solve this write an sql query so you write an sql query how do you know it's correct How do you know it actually solves the problem? So you may have had an assignment, and you submitted an SQL query. Your teacher corrected it. How did they correct it? There are so many ways of writing an SQL query. There are so many ways of writing a program. How do you know the program is correct? Okay, and the answer to that will be read it and see if it is correct. And that's very hard, and people make mistakes. Another answer is run it on some test data and see if it's correct. But are you sure that you have enough test data to catch all the errors? okay think about it if you wrote a program you tested it you probably know very well that you tested it on a few cases but you also know very well there may be test cases which your program will fail so how do you make sure that you have got enough test cases to catch if not 100% of the errors that is very hard but at least a good fraction of the potential errors that could lie in a program okay so that is one of the research projects which we have been working on for quite a few years now and these things take time and so at this point we have a system that given sql queries can generate test data and this was you know we got some of the basic ideas in the first couple of years but we've been developing it and it turns out that that only works for simple programs now if you have more complex queries to write those things don't work so then we see how to tackle them and then we come across walls and then we say how to go over those walls and handle larger things so research is a lot about this how to solve a problem which is not obvious how to solve it if you look at it it seems very hard but figure out how to do it it's a challenge it's not easy 
but it's a fantastic challenge and that's what i love about my life as a professor here that i can do this research with students and i hope some of you are inspired to come back and join us for a masters or a phd to do this research to show that you know you can do it you seen the movies with the josh right it's a different type of josh this technical josh uh, not about uh, going on and say that i am the bravest but to say that i can do it okay so i hope uh, some of you will join us may not be necessarily at iit bombay but you know do your masters or phd and take it to the next level not all of you should be doing this obviously industry needs people but industry also needs people who have these skills industry may be very happy to grab you before you have developed these skills but they are also very happy and pay very well if you do it afterwards and of course uh, you know we also would like some of you to eventually come back and join us we don't pay as well as industry but we offer a very nice work environment which where you can do what you want and be happy doing it so i hope uh, you will do not only take this message for yourself but also make sure your friends are also aware of this and you know do challenging things in life have fun in life